Hello. Let's model and animate this wall clock in on shape. We start with a part studio. I switch off the visibility of those planes and I'll start with the body of the, the clock. A circle with a diameter of 488. And one more circle diameter is twenty two and one center rectangle over here with the dimensions. 44 with 12 and height from origin hundred seventy six and that's it. Then let's go to an extrude. First, extrude all three regions. Go that direction, distance 66. Give that thing some um, white appearance, well, grayish. Change the name to body. Make a uh, make connector right here with the Z axis pointing towards us. All right. Make that sketch visible. Then shell that thing, remove that face, three millimeters. Okay. Make another extrude of that part, just a little bit, one millimeter should be enough. Give that extrude an expression, um, an appearance. Add appearance of feature. Black. Okay. Make a pattern, a circular pattern of that feature. Axis is that body. Twelve hours. Okay. Now, um, another extrude of that hole, right? Remove, accept that. All right, so we get the body. Hide that sketch with a K, pressing K on the keyboard. And you change the visibility of the uh, mate, mate connector. All right, let's start a new sketch on that face. And um, use that circle and make a um, center rectangle 
that will be just same size as that edge, equal. Then that will be that distance. And that defines the minute dial. Accept that and extrude those two faces. Two should be two ring. Let's see. That one, uh, that one, and that one. Make a new body. Offset uh, two millimeters. And thickness two millimeters. All right. Change the name, call it minute, minutes. The appearance, black, all right. Hide the body, control M, Gets you in the mate connector environment. All right, I pick that origin and the axis is again pointing towards us. I accept that. So we get that down. Make that visible again. Now what's wrong here? Edit, own a part, okay, sure. That would be on that part. Got that, there is, is there any confusion? Let's see. Yeah, we need to rotate that mate connector. Go to edit and move, rotate around axis, X. And that will be 90 degrees, right? 90, accept that. Okay, we get that. Show the body. That's how we're going to do it. And now let's make another sketch on the front. Make a circle. Make a sand or a rectangle. Give that a dimension of 22, a length of 132, then that circle will give that um, diameter of 44 and a coincident relationship right here. M cuts those lines away and I 
accept that. Extrude it. Make a new body, right? New. Um, we'll put that on top of, well, actually below, right? Below the thing, so it will have a starting offset of one. new and a death of um, one and accept that hide the mates change the name of that one to ours Hide those two, um, shift M for mate connector definition, pick that point, and owner part is that one, um, accept that, but let's see. I want to add it. Okay, I rearranged my mate connector. The Z axis is pointing towards us. I'll change the appearance of that one to black just as well. And introduce the three parts into the into an assembly okay let's connect those mates with the revolute mate pick that one and pick that revolute mate accept that and Pick that one and that one. All right. So now we will um, pick that gear relation and make a uh, uh, gear relation between Revolute Mate 1 and Revolute Mate 2. And the relation will be 1 divided by 12, right? Accept that. And let's have a look. Animating that one. We'll use the loop, change that to 12 times 360 degrees and a thousand steps and animate that. All right, so that is working nicely. So uh, I hope you enjoyed that demonstration of the gear relation in Onshape. Thanks for watching.